Welcome to Crimsafe Talking Tech. I'm Matt Gibson from Racecoms. I'm going to show you what it takes on a race weekend for radio communications to work smoothly. Okay, Slady, when you've got the time, let me know what the balance of the car's like, please. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not too bad when, though. Just the uh, biggest problem is, um, is lots of speed turn. Okay, down the straight, I want you to go up two clicks on the rear bar, up two clicks on the rear bar to position six. Copy. You might just think radio communications is truckies driving around on their CBs or four-wheel drivers using their uh, CB radios. But now, with the use of commercial grade equipment, things have got a bit more complicated. These new radios are all programmed by computer, so it can be changed from event to event. As you can see, the radio of choice these days is a Kenwood Portable. Here we have two. This one is the, uh, the radio that sits on the, the belt of the engineer, and this one is the one that sits in the car. The only difference is its connection to the outside world. Now connected to the radio is the headsets the engineers wear. Red button is normally set up for car, back button black is normally set up for crew, and a lot of teams run the side button here for the engineer. At a normal round, non-enduro event, we're probably using mm, five to six hundred radios up and down pit lane. At an enduro, that can almost double. Just going back to the old days as well, they used to use CB channels which is open to the general public. Now they all own licensed uh, frequencies from the Australian government. Now for each car has its own frequency, so they can't hear anyone else chatting but the engineer and the driver. As we move into an endurance weekend, it's not just the teams where the pressure is mounted. We've also got to look after twice as many helmets, twice as many radios and headsets, so anything can fail. And generally, while the race is going on, we're not relaxing, constantly monitoring and listening for anything that may pop up. OK, box this lap, box this lap. You're getting out the car. Remove your helmet air and confirm. Copy. There you have it, a little insight into racing communications. Gives you a bit of an idea now if you're sitting at home watching on TV or you're here at the track actually listening on a scanner. Buying security screens? Most CrimSafe lookalikes can pop out in just a few seconds, but the real CrimSafe doesn't, thanks to its patented screw clamp. Cheap lookalikes can pop out because they're only held in with a piece of plastic. But CrimpSafe screw clamp locks the mesh and spreads the impact. CrimpSafe resists attack and corrosion and now has the ultimate warranty, 15 years. Ask for a demonstration today, because if it's not CrimpSafe, it's not CrimpSafe.